third day for our mere recognition editorial team and Defense Web TV in Bangkok for the Defense and Security exhibition. Once again, the choice between the many topics that deserve to be shown was difficult. Look at what we have finally selected in land, air and navy sectors. My name is Rajapon Sirayobas. I work with Ford Global Fleet Sales, a member of RMA Group as Regional Sales Asia Pacific. Ford Global Fleet Sales is Ford's global export distributor with access to nearly Ford's entire product line and access to over 100 markets. Ford Global Fleet Sales can provide fleet solutions around the world. Ford GFS has engineering facilities spread across four continents that has ability to provide custom vehicle solution to Ford Rangers, Ford Everest, and Ford Transit. Since 1980s, FGFS has provided critical vehicle sales, after sales support, and comprehensive fleet management system to aid organization and government in developing and post-conflict markets. Ford Everest Trapper is a heavy-duty off-road SUV customized with protective vehicle component including an optional bull bar and window protection. An upgraded brake and suspension package improves safety and handling and reduce maintenance costs and downtime. Ford Ranger Light Utility Vehicle is a heavy-duty pickup developed for military use. FGFS offers customized military application to suit customer exact need. This includes a bull bar, enhanced handling suspension package, and in-vehicle gun rack. The vehicle be able to carry up to nine people in the on- and off-road application. Okay, uh, we're the company from Japan, and uh, originally we are the grass adhesive company, but uh, considering the necessity or diversity of the business, uh, we are penetrating into this industry. Uh, according to the request from the Japanese customer, that sometimes they want to use the, this kind of machine for saving the people at the sea cost. You know that uh, we have a very big uh, earthquake in Japan before, and that time they, they needed this kind of things. By using the LED inside, uh, you can put uh, this is on the rain and uh, you can use this on the boat. Uh, it is actually the waterproof and IP66. Then uh, by this one, they, especially in the Asian area, that you know that this area is uh, famous as the monsoon area, very wet and very dusty places. Then uh, most of the person you can use uh, this product without worrying about that. Actually, we are uh, approaching to the Royal Military and the police, and also at the same time the airport, AOT. Uh, you know, the, as I told you, the, this kind of uh, product is very needed by them. For example, the searching something in the mountain area and the border control, and also the searching the uh, dangerous uh, people, uh, object at the airport. Then uh, I do hope that uh, they can use uh, this product and uh, they are completing their mission. My name is Shakit Nesawang, executive of uh, Chan in the business. Today, we proud to like to show U4000. Uh, the, the new one is a repayment of U1100. And for this side, for this side is a tractor head for transport heavy duty, such as tank, many many tank. Now we send uh, 
about let's say 13 units of oil tank transport to supply to Royal Thai Army already. Two years is we will support you 4,000 to Royal Thai Army again. After show, we will send to some division to test die and demonstration around uh, division of army in Thailand in next year, to, uh, the first quarter, start from January until uh, March. We import only chassis from Germany and modify everything such as bodybuilder, electric, some system, painting, writing, whatever do in Thailand. We order, we import only chassis. Modification and everything uh, special is a request from customer, Royal Thai Army, and we will follow TOR specification. This semi-tailor can carry many, many tanks in Thailand, such as uh, M60, VT4, Oplot. Oh, this model is a uh, 40-50S, it's a heavy duty for uh, transport, heavy duty equipment, such as a uh, tank. It's a, in Thailand, it's the biggest engine and heavy duty for semi-tailor. I'm Piotr Simchak, I'm a regional director for WB Group in the South East Asia region. And we are already have a footage in Malaysia, but we also having established the office in 2016. We cover the markets like Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and we also look at our presence at the, in the region. And basically we concentrate on the deliveries which are actually happening for the AV8 program to Malaysia. We deliver the um, intercom systems and the radio systems which we, I would be happy to show you later. And also we are developing the systems like the UAV reconnaissance and surveillance systems and also UAV based striking system which is some people call it loitering ammunition. Then we also present in the market of, uh, of the RCWS, remote control weapon stations, which we are actively promoting in the region. Phone at intercom and a digital backbone on the vehicle is something which we already success successfully introduced to Malaysian Army. We are serving the biggest armor program in Malaysia. We are delivering this equipment to, to the Malaysian Army. And we are also focusing on other markets like Thailand and Indonesia to develop the, the, the present in the region. The UAV which is present here, it's delivered for the, to the Polish army and also to some foreign markets. And we are actively promoted in the, in the region because we think it's one of the best and optimum solutions and the price to, to performance ratio. And if you combine it the, the, with, together with the striking system which you can observe on the, on the left hand side, uh, that gives the complex and and very effective system of reconnaissance and strike for the surgeon operations. The radios that you can see over here, it's a part of our broad portfolio for the communication equipment. We are delivering radios to the Polish Army for over 50 years and we are still developing new systems. We are covering the customer needs, we are following the, the work trends and we would like to be responsive to the needs and, uh, and the today's challenges of the, of the modern battlefield. So I believe our offer is also interesting for various customers, including the, the customers in this region. My name is Ayman Mashuka. I am the general manager of Jadara Equipment and Defense System. Jadara Equipment and Defense Systems was established in 2005 in Jordan. Uh, we began working with uh, anti-tank systems, ground systems, beginning with RPG-32. And after that, last year, we uh, developed a new weapon. It's anti-tank uh, medium-range guided missile system, laser-guided. Uh, 
this is we are participating second time here in uh, Thailand and we can see that the market in, uh, in Asia in, in general is growing up in this market we had a lot of uh, companies were interested working with us uh, to cover all the region I think the main difficulties is the financial issues when we are coming to financial issues you know and uh, technology transfer because always we find the people like telling me they need a technology transfer, technology transfer, which is not ready yet for that. This is the Terminator, this is anti-tank, uh, guided, laser guided missile system. Uh, the range of this weapon is two and a half kilometer. And you see it consists of the uh, container and the rocket inside. We have the, here from this side, we have this launcher with a sighting system and day and night and thermal imager and the third part is the uh, tripod so it's very simple to assemble and very easy to, to use not complicated weapon and we have another uh, another weapon it's the, orp it's the terminator we put it in a vehicle like this system but we bring prototype with us like this system it will be four rockets and machine gun and uh, be on vehicle.